Well, today we have a totally, completely dead 19-inch G07. This came out of the pole position cabinet at my arcade, and I walked by it last night and noticed that the marquee was on, but the monitor was off. So I went up and pressed start, and you could hear the game start, prepare to qualify. So the, the game is working fine. Uh, the monitor simply was dead. It opened the backup, no net glow, turned the machine off, back on, I heard no high voltage, it was dead. So I took it out and put a replacement in so the game's back up and running. So we gotta see if we can figure out what's going on with this one. Now the first thing you'd suspect is one of the two fuses is bad. But if we go to F902, the main input fuse, it's good. If we go to F901, which is the fuse that goes off the flyback, which I've put a, re a little remote installation here on, and it's the correct rating, it's the correct type. So if we check it, it's good as well. So what could be bad that will cause the chassis to be totally dead but not have a blown fuse. So there's four main culprits to check first. is the B-plus resistor, the voltage regulator, the HOT, and then the resistor down here. So I forget, I think this is, what resistor is that? Uh, R902. So another thing to be, look out for is just cold bad solder joints. So um, F902 down here should be two ohms. So if we check that first, we go down here and it reads, two ohms. Now our B plus resistor should read 220 ohms. If it reads zero, then our voltage regulator is shorted. But if that was the case, you would take out the fuse and it's not. So I assume the voltage regulator is fine. But if we test our B plus resistor, we get, oh, come on, 218, 219, oh, come on. Yeah, it's, re resistor's good, so our regulator should be okay, but we can check it anyway. To check the regulator, you wanna go to uh, dialed mode on the meter and put your lead in one of the screw holes or one of the screws I should say not the hole and one of the screw heads there we go the screw head now to the lead with the red wire should get a 0.5 voltage drop and the lead with the white wire should be 0.18 voltage drop because it's going through the B plus resistor uh, 179 180 18 okay 181 so regulators good the two resistors are good let's check our HOT again same thing you want to put your negative lead in one of the screw heads and each leg should be 0.5 voltage drop, uh, 0.464 and 0.464. HOT is okay, so it's very likely we either have bad solder joints or just simply a flyback that failed. So, but usually when the flyback fails, it takes out F901. So I'm just looking here, uh, we got some black goo. I don't know if this is the glue here for the ferrite core to keep it in place, but I don't think that's supposed to be like that very suspect and then we have this white mass here this is very likely just a bad flyback what is this uh, I don't see any cracks or anything but I think we've got something leaking out of it because I don't know what this white is this just glue surface glue or something Ugh, nope uh oh we also got a pinhole here there's a little pinhole right there, and whatever this is. I don't know if this is... Yeah, that's some type of pinhole. Well, I think we simply have a situation of a failed flyback, but it's odd that it didn't take out the fuse. The fuse is intact, so... But I think we have a situation here of a failed flyback, but let's... Uh, so, let me go back. Uh, before we put the machines on location at the arcade, I always go through and do a rebuild. Uh, it's got a new a replacement flyback's already been installed, cap kit, reflow, all that stuff's been done to this before the machine went on location at the arcade. So I always do that before we do that to give us longevity of, you know, life without having to mess with anything. But of course, with the nature of these things, this kind of stuff happens. But I've, I'm thinking that we got a filled flyback because of this little pinhole here and this white goo of something like it escaped. But Let's take a look at the back side, make sure nothing has exploded. Uh, no, it's in really, really good shape. Um, R902 was that resistor. Uh, everything has already been reflowed, so... Um, yeah, I think uh, what we'll do is... I don't... I mean, it's not cracked or broken because everything was working fine for years and then all of a sudden it just simply died. Uh, the caps aren't going to be bad. I've already replaced the um, horizontal width coil. So I don't think it's a bad solder joint or anything with the correct trace. It hasn't been manhandled. I simply think we just have a failed flyback. Now why it didn't take out 
the uh, F901, I can't say, but I think what we'll do is we'll just replace the flyback and see what happens. Now I want to check FR901. Uh, there's two other things to check. Uh, FR901 is 220 ohms. This guy right here, if this can open this little fusible resistor right here can open up, and we want to make sure that that reads 220. So we get 220, so that's good. And there's another resistor here. This fusible resistor right here should read 68 ohms. That can get taken out too when this kind of stuff happens. So if we check this, we get. Sometimes it's hard to read this one. Let's go on the back side. Uh, FR401 is what that one is. And we get 68 ohms. So I just think it's a bad flyback. So let's just go ahead and replace it. I've got, let's see here. Well, that's a, that's a used one. I don't want to use that one. Uh, all right, got one here from Peter at Arcade Parts and Repair. Brand new. Oh. Okay, so let's remove this one make sure we don't forget to swap this over okay you got that swapped over and let's take our screws out So if we look at this one, there's no little, this one's got that little white, this little white pustule there. This one does not have that. There's also none of that glue, this stuff here that's oozing out. So I'm 99.9% .9 sure that we just simply have a bad flyback. I have no explanation as to why it didn't take out F901, uh, but crazier things have happened. So let's just, I would use my desoldering station, but I don't want to use it. Let's just zip out this flyback real quick. Welcome back to the Carnival Show. Here's your chance for the big money cash flow. Hit your buzzer. Call your lover. Joker. Joker. We'll staple your head to the door. One, two, or three. It's the same behind every door. Me. The crowd can't help. Look, they're all dead. That's how you get an axe to the forehead. Oh, and don't let them sit around all day. Come home and find your mom dead in the hallway. Because they can be nifty. Or shifty? They can be shifty. Nifty, all the toys are shifty eh, in my toy box. That's not a toy. Hey, wait a minute. All right, that's out. Let these split. And don't ask about where that song came from that I'm singing. Uh, if you know, you know. What's the hold up? We got one stubborn. What is going on here? 
Everything is loose, but it's not coming out. There we go. Now you want to be careful taking these out because you can crack the boards rather easily, but you know, I don't think I did that. And, uh, yep. All right. So let's get our replacement in. You want toys? You come to the right place. Wind them up, let them go among all of ya, then bang, see your slaughterer. All right, that's in. Now, my advice to, to you is to put the screws in before you solder it in. Otherwise, they'll never line up and you'll flex the board and cause cracks and damage. So get your screws put in first to hold it in place. It may end up looking kind of wonky, but it doesn't matter what it looks like. It's operational and secure. That's all we're worried about. All right, so our, our screws are in. Uh, let's get this soldered back in. Really? Well, that... There's not much uh, real estate here on these pins after putting those screws in. I might just delete on these screws because that doesn't give me much to work with here. Well, I might just delete on these screws. That's odd. It's like the legs are too short. Because that's flat against the board and they barely stick out. Huh. Well, looks like I'm deleting on these screws then. Or we can try and solder this in and line them up afterward, but I need the real estate for the pins here. It's easy, to, it's easy to forget number 10, so I always start with number 10 because it's out here on the edge. And it's easy to overlook it and forget to solder it in. Ask me how I, <clears throat> ask me how I know that. All right, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and ten. <coughs> hmm. Soldered in. Let's see if our holes line up. Not even close. Not even close. It's hard for you to see, but it's they're off. They're offset there. So I'm not going to try and put them on. So we'll just uh, leave the screws off. No big deal. Normally you can put the screws in, it'll be kind of leaning tower of Pisa it over and you can still solder it in just fine, but for some reason these feet or her legs are awful short. Um, but uh, yeah, everything else looks good. Actually, I'm gonna hit FR901 again here, or oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> R902. I think I might have overlooked this one before, but okay, that's fine. All right, well, now that that's replaced, uh, we need to get a, a tube and hook it up and see if that solves our problem. I'm confident that it will. Need to add a little. Solder to that. No, I'm going to totally redo that because some of those strands are broken. Let's cut that. Take this back off of here. And let's do this properly. All right, let's feed this through here. Oh, come on, really? There we 
go. Now we'll fold it over on itself. We'll add a little flux. Just a little, don't need a lot. Okay. Straighten it out and nice, nice strong joint there now. So, okay, let's put our boot on. And reorganize our tools. And if this doesn't work, then we can go from there. But uh, all of the major components are good. The HOT checked out okay. Voltage regulator checked okay. Uh, B plus resistor, F901. Or, I'm sorry, I can't, I can't ever get that right. R902. I keep thinking about the the fuses, but uh, FR901 is what I was thinking of. So our FR, R902, uh, B plus resistor, voltage regulator, HOT, flyback screen replaced, um, FR901, FR904, I think that's what that was, 901, FR, uh, FR401. Man, I'm batting a thousand here for the wrong nomenclature. FR401, FR901, FR and R901, yeah, so anyway, all right, I'm just jibber jabbering. So let me get a picture tube and, you know, it should work now. Well, hopefully, because this thing had this white glob and a little pinhole and all that. So, and then whatever all this junk in there was. All right, enough babbling. Uh, let me get a tube, I'll come right back. Okay, here we go. Is it gonna work? There's our old one. Let's find out here. Let's turn the test pattern generator on. And here we go. One, two, well, sorry to get you, your hopes up there, but I forgot that I need to make sure that this doesn't touch anything, this fuse holder. Sorry, you won't even be able to see there. Uh, yeah, let's make sure that this doesn't actually touch anything. Okay, that should be fine right there. Okay. All right, let's try again here. One, two, three. Yep, came right on. Bad flyback. Well, okay, that was easy. What kind of image do we get? This tube hasn't been on in a long time, but it works. Absolutely not interested in making any adjustments because it's going to come right back off this tube, but it operates. All right. And we got RGB and everything. So, okay. Yep. Dead G07 caused by a failed flyback. Now, it's very odd, again, that this didn't take anything else out. Um, I'm sure it was running for a number of hours dead like that, and yeah, I guess we got lucky. Um, nothing else got taken out. So just a simple faulty flyback. Uh, got a new one installed and it's back up and running. So nice quick repair. Um, thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more.